I'm Ali. I'm working on cloud native environments in mostly and playing with Dagger from almost beginning of the time. And that was interesting. And today is just an experimental idea about running GitHub Actions locally using Dagger. This is inspired by Kyle's presentation about running CircleCI. And after seeing the demo, why we can't do it for the GitHub Actions as well. And I will start sharing my screen and deep dive a little bit more. Let's see. I hope you can see my screen properly. Yes, we see it. It's kind of, there we go. That looks pretty good. And even if, if you can bump the font a little more, it'd be great, but I think it's probably visible for, for most Unfortunately, people. Unfortunately, I tried my i3 VM is didn't able to change it at the moment. Yeah, Last I think second it'll start work. Stuck. It'll work. Okay. And let's start, as I told, this is an experimental idea about how we are able to run GitHub Actions locally inspired by the cars presentation. What we are going to see today is running a simple single GitHub workflow using custom Node.js actions to run steps se sequentially using the, the dagger. And what we are going to do in this process is we are going to provisioning a new runner container and run workflow on top of the newly promoted uh, workflow. And let me start the working demo at the site, and this will start our process. What it will do, it will create first a runner container, updates and install necessary tools. In our case, it's only not GS. It's installed from the original repository from the GitHub runner images. So we are using the same style with the GitHub actions. Then we are going to run our workflow jobs and steps sequentially. Hopefully you are able to see new this UI. I, I, it's so fancy. I want to try it in the demo, but it's a little bit blinking at the moment. And the meantime, let me walk through from the code. What we are doing going to do here actually is for let's start with the GitHub Actions. GitHub Actions is mostly made by three main components. We can call context, which the all information and environment necessary to run the actions. Workflows, which is automated process, one or multiple jobs to automate our workflows and runners. So to able to replicate this one in locally, we need to use these three components and replicate how the GitHub Actions does. And when we do it, context and workflows, it's easy. They are well documented and they are easily to reverse engineered. But the runner part which makes is tricky and make the the most of the problem because GitHub Actions doesn't have a local support and their runner size, it's really big. So to able to do it, we need to optimize our runner images. And that's the where the Dagger came into play because with the build kit and Dagger's cache support, we can easily optimize our runners and initialize it. Let's start with just one simple example. This is just a simple structure I'm using to wrap up the Dagger container. And what we did here, it's first, we are creating a container from the base image, just an empty container. Then we are running, I was too lazy to write this code and I just used the bash script. I'm executing the bash script inside of the container to just create proper users, updates of application updates and necessary permissions to workflow to run, which we are doing the exact the same when we are running the self-hosted runners. So this is creating empty self-hosted runner instance for us. Only difference is it doesn't have the GitHub runner application. Then next it will going to install the tools. For the installing the tools, we are using the actions runner images, which is a Packer repository, which they create and install all virtual machines. So what basically we are using and reading their original configurations, versions, and installation scripts to able to match with their installers and installing their tool set. In our case, as I said, we are only installing the Node.js since we are going to demo only Node.js version. Then what we are going to do next in the demo, it's reading this workflow file and execute the steps in a consecutively. 
So currently, this is just an experimental idea to see if the dagger is able to run. So it doesn't read the commands and it doesn't connect the steps and context together. It's just able to run the execute and we can see the outputs. And let me try to see. Because since I clear all my cache, it's running everything from scratch. But after initial run, it should be able to run much, much faster. And it should be really, really easy to optimize and change our render instance. For example, let's code. And this is our runner script. Yeah, just sorry. Yeah, sorry, my dog doesn't happy with my presentation. And this is the first runner installation script we are using in the beginning. And then it's just installing the all the three tools and components. And if we go down, it's mounting the original Linux tool sets files. And it starts to installation from the original scripts from the runner. It's an OGS. And let me, I'm still not able to use this new UI. It's installing the exact same script. And if we continue Deep Diver, it's just starting the cloning, the custom actions from the original source, which they, which they are just simple GitHub actions repository. Uh, just sorry, my screen is went empty. And then just let's go dive dive. Let's continue. There's a hint from Gerhard about pressing F to follow the current operation in the TUI. Okay, that's great. My key bindings. Just so I will stop the sharing. Sorry about that. I need to fix my screen first. No problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's better. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, yes, notifications and tighter VM. That's perfect for me. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we're getting some uh, some live feedback. Uh... I think I need to run this demo from start without using the experimental UI. Yeah, it looks like it's it's probably finished. Everybody says if you see uh, it says it's completed in the top right corner. Uh, yeah, um, it's completed, but in my screen it's just blinking. So I just want to switch to the normal view. Sorry about that. I'm running the same workflow second time, but as I said in the first place, since I already built my runner instance, it doesn't do anything. It just passed from the cache. And now it's able to first it cloned my Dego repository. I hard codedly give the Dego repository as a source of repo to clone it. Then it will just clone it. Then after this cloning step, it will run actions set up go. It will install the go on top of this flow and it will download the latest version of the Go from the repository. It will make all the necessary changes in the container from the original action. And at the end of it, we should be able to see a comment say, yes, it's added to, it's say add paths to the command container bin. And when we start to, if I add it to processing the commands of the workflows, we should be able to start the using this binary as a next action. So we can run with the custom actions with the dagger in this point of time. And currently that's basically it. And this is shows us dagger able to run our GitHub actions workflow. 
with custom Go actions. And this has a couple of the benefits in here. And before we are using, in my previous companies, when we are going to the using GitHub actions, we, have, we were having two, two different issues. First, developing the actions itself is too hard because you are not able to run it locally. And then you want to develop in the repository, some events only happening in the main. So you need to merge your development code to the main and you need to take a chance. It will run everything. And there is a high chance you blow up all the repository. And second part, some, some workflows like linting, checking, pre-commits needs to run in your local environment and your CI CD automations. And when you do it, you need to, there you have a two options. First option is you need to maintain two different repositories like a make files and GitHub actions automations to able to use custom actions. And then it means you, you need to duplicate effort and you can create inconsistency or you can, you know, you will going to use your make files in your workflows, then you will lose the support of the GitHub actions and the good parts. So this allow us to create here. And there is a other solutions. Yes, this is a, one of the most popular CI CD solutions, Nexus Act. It's already doing that. And the problem with when I'm using Nexus Act, they are using to certain Docker images they need to provision beforehand because they can't do it on the fly. And when they need to use everything together, it's downloading an image size of 60 gigabytes. So it's not possible for us to work on that. But when I saw the dagger and it's able to cache everything, and after Castemo, it's a light bulb is, you know, created an idea. Why don't we create provision runners on the fly and modify it according to our needs? If I can do it, I can use it look in the local make files with the wrappers. So I can run same code with the CI CD and locally, and it will faster development and easier for me to use. That's the inspiration is coming from, but that's the, just the initial idea to sketch something for the showcases. Oh, very cool, Ali. So kind of like a, a minimal on the fly, GitHub Actions, you know, runner that can actually run GitHub Actions and 